go? Uh, come on, where'd you go? Oh, hey guys. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit distracted today. I'm having a hard time finding my cat, Todd. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Hmm. Dear Mr. De La Garza, I've gone off to a faraway land to retrieve the ring that was stolen by Hagen the Evil Warrior? With this all-powerful ring, Hagen will destroy the world if I don't take it away from him. Don't come to save me. I don't need your help. Love, Todd. I've, I've got to do something about this. Todd, buddy, I'm on my way to come save you. Don't worry. Hey kids, I haven't been able to find Todd yet. It's been so long. I haven't shaved, uh, I haven't cut my hair, I haven't combed my hair. But what you might be wondering is, why am I wearing this hat? Well, I'm hoping that the Valkyries will notice me and help me out. Wait, you don't know who the Valkyries are? Well, the Valkyries, they were in a pretty famous opera by Wagner. Well, I suppose I can take a break and tell you a little bit about the life and music of Wagner. Richard Wagner was born in 1813 in Leipzig, Germany. Notice how his last name starts with a W, but it's pronounced with a V sound. That's how W's are pronounced in German. His father was a policeman, but died shortly after Wagner was born. Years later, his mom married Ludwig Geyer, a playwright, but someone who writes plays. Wagner got along with his stepdad very well and would often perform in plays with him. When he was nine years old, he saw an opera called The Marksman by Carl Maria von Weber and was so impressed, he just loved the story and the music. He hoped that someday he'd get to make both. So he begged his parents for music lessons, which they gladly got him. Wagner went on to learn how to write music at his university. His teacher was so impressed with his natural talent that he gave him lessons for free. When Wagner went out to become a composer, he had a really hard time making money. When he was 29, he had his first successful opera called Rienzi, which took place in ancient Rome. What made Wagner's opera so unique was that he wrote the words and the music. Not a lot of composers did that during his time. Most composers hired someone else to write words, but not Wagner. He wanted to do it all. After Rienzi, he had two more hits, The Flying Dutchman and Tannhäuser. But after those hits, Wagner had bigger dreams. He was going to make opera bigger and more epic than it had ever been before. This opera was going to be so huge that he needed to make a theater specifically for his brand new opera. This brand new opera was called The Ring. It was this epic tale about this all-powerful ring that belonged to these fair ladies of the water. But the ring is stolen from them by these evil warriors who want to use the ring's power to take over the world. Now it's up to some brave warriors to get the ring back and save the world. Wagner's opera was such a large story that he had to split it in four parts. It's kind of like how Star Wars is such a long story that it needs to be split into nine parts. If Wagner didn't split his opera into parts, the entire opera would be 17 hours long. Imagine sitting through a 17 hour long opera. Jeez. You know, you might recognize some music from The Ring. It's in a scene where the Valkyries, heroes who want to save the ring, start swooping in to save the day. Wagner believed that music, 
song, dance, poetry, visual arts, and stagecraft should be put together to create the ultimate opera. And Wagner did just that, inspiring other composers after him to do the same. Todd! I finally found you! And what's that? You saved the world? Good job, buddy. Let's go on and get home. I'll see you all kids next time. Hey, Todd, look, the Valkyries are up there. Let's go and hit to ride with them, okay? Here we go.